In this video, I want to talk about the difference between Bayesian and frequentist statistics, and I'm going to talk about it by using one of the most famous models in statistics, linear regression. So let's start with a concrete problem. Let's say you work for an Apple company and the CEO of this company wants to do a big marketing campaign. And his question is, is that marketing campaign a good idea? And concretely, he wants to know if we spend $1 on a customer by let's say Instagram marketing, how much more apples do we sell? And so he goes to you, the statistician, and you, you're supposed to answer that question. And in all of statistics, what we try to do is we try to answer a question about, in this case, all customers of the company, but we only have a very small sample of data. Let's just say we have three people for which we have data. And so you now analyze this, these data points that you have to answer the boss's question. And let's go first to what a frequentist statistician would do. So I first plot the data points on this graph where we have the marketing for the customer on the x-axis and the Apple sales on the y-axis. And we have three data points and they are here, here, and here. Let's just say this is 50 cents in marketing, this is 60 cents, and this is $1.50. And a frequentist would pose a simple linear relationship between marketing and sales. He would say, well, how much sales we have for a customer depends on how much marketing we give to this customer. So it's, in other words, a linear relationship of the marketing expenses that we have. And we are trying now to estimate this true parameter beta. But the frequentist says, well, data, well, data is uncertain, erroneous, sometimes weird things happen. And so all the data that we observe in the world, there is some error in it. And frequentists often call this error epsilon. And if I would now go into the plot and show you the frequentist estimator, what the frequentist does is he says, well, okay, let's see, on average, we have this relationship. On average, if we increase our marketing expenses by $1, then the sales go up by 10 apples. Let's just say that that is the slope of this line. So the estimator, or frequentist estimator of this relationship, how much marketing um, how much sales does marketing generate is 10. So a frequentist would say, well, my estimator for this relationship is 10. So if we increase marketing by $1, we sell 10 more apples. The crucial thing now here is that the frequentist says in the real world, there's a real relationship between marketing and sales. And this real relationship is 10. And that is the true relationship in the world. And what happens always when we generate data, there is this true relationship. So we invest a dollar in marketing and then there's some error and then we observe the sales of the person. But there is error in the data, which is why our estimator of this true relationship has some uncertainty to it. We don't know how large the error in our sample is and a frequentist would thus also report uncertainty for this slope parameter. And I don't know if you've seen the formulas, but the uncertainty for the slope parameter is given by sigma squared x prime x um, inverse. If you've not seen this formula, then ignore it. So let's go to the Bayesian side of the linear regression model. The Bayesian statistician has the same data. But now the model of the Bayesian would be a bit different. The model of the Bayesian would be, okay, we have sales and these sales, they are driven by some parameters times the marketing that we give to the customer. And the Bayesian wouldn't say that this parameter is, that there's a true value for this parameter. The Bayesian would say, well, this parameter, it varies in the data because that's what we observe in our data set, right? For some people, maybe the slope is five. For some people, maybe the slope is 10 apples. And maybe for, for the other people, the slope is 15 apples. So in other words, 
What we can say from our data is that this parameter sometimes takes the value 5, sometimes takes the value 10, and sometimes takes the value 15, because that's the data points that we observe. And because we have three people, well, we would, a Bayesian would say, well, with a third of a probability, our parameter is 5, with a third of a probability, our parameter is 10, and with a third of the probability, the parameter in the real world is 15. And that's it. That's the Bayesian estimate of the effect. And you see a crucial difference here that the frequentist statistician, he would give you one value. He would give you a true value. But the Bayesian statistician, he doesn't say that there's a true value. He just says there's a distribution. So now, if our CEO asks us, if we spend $1 on a customer, how much more apples do we sell? The Bayesian statistician would tell you based on the data, well, it will be about 10. That is estimated with some uncertainty, but we think that the true parameter of all our customers is 10. And the Bayesian statistician would tell you, well, based on our data, I can tell you that a third of our customers, we will sell five more apples. A third of our customers, we will say, sell 10 more apples. And for another third of our customers, we will sell 15 more apples. And I hope that this makes clear what the difference is between the frequentist and the Bayesian approach. The frequentists say there is error in the data we observe. And the Bayesian says that there is error or uncertainty in the parameters of our model. And I think I would cut the word error here because in the Bayesian world, we really think of parameters as having a distribution and being random so it's there's really error is not the right word it's more uncertainty there is uncertainty in the parameters and in the frequentist world we say there's uncertainty in the data so to recap this really bayesian and frequentists they are both statisticians who try to infer parameters from data in other words they have a small sample of data and they try to infer something about a whole group of people and they both have different modes of thinking the frequentist says, well, there's some error in our data. And the Bayesian statistician says, the error is not actually in the data. It's just that the parameter, the data generating process is random. So both schools of thought and statistics have their different approaches. And what people do usually today is they kind of combine both approaches as they need them. It's a bit like you have two tools to tackle the same problem. It's a bit like you want to go from London to Paris and you have two choices. You can go by plane or you can go by boat. It's just like there are two choices available and sometimes you will choose one, sometimes you will choose the other.